All right, now, brother, could you please uh, state your name, brother, and uh, let us know why you're down here at Occupy Detroit and what, what does this movement mean? A lot of people want to know. Uh, you hear right-wing pundits like Rush Limbaugh and um, um, my man from Fox, uh, Bill O'Reilly, talking down on the Occupies in, in, yeah. in general. Yeah. But we know here in Detroit where we really had a lot of things to protest about, we've had one of the most peaceful movements thus far. So could you just talk to, talk to us a little bit about it? Okay, um, first off, let me comment on your uh, morality statement. Okay. Um, dig this here. They, O'Reilly and, and Rush, they trying to be part of the 1%, but they not. You understand what I'm saying? So let me get up into your next question. Um, I became part of Occupy Detroit the first, basically from inception. I've been here, tent set up from day one. Um, the reason why I'm here, I have a lot of personal issues. You know what I'm saying? And I'll share those with you. you know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm we a 46-year-old. I'm a 46-year-old black male, um, homeless, chronically homeless under under certain definitions because I've been homeless for the last 25 years. Um, I tried to go to go back to school this last semester, and being homeless and trying to go to school, it doesn't mix. So That's right. I had to, before before I messed up my government money, I had to go ahead and drop the classes with uh, what you call a withdrawal while passing. So I would save my, you know, my aid. And basically just been doing my thing here, man, volunteering, doing security, keeping everything in order. Um, that's one of the main reasons, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's four of us that came day one with really? Occupy Detroit. And we became security, and that's what we do. You really? know what I'm saying? It's, it's still a public park, but however, it's a way to do things. And we, so far, we've been doing the right thing. And, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, pro and I'm proud of that as a Detroiter. Yes, sir. Now, uh, you know, before we turned on the camera, uh, the brother was also talking with me just a little bit about um, some of the things that's been going on. A lot of the Occupy movements have been coming under fire and resistance. We know out in Oakland we've had... Um, actual fatalities and violence and then we also know in, in uh, New York today Bloomberg was about to drop the hammer on them and the brother informed me that he did and so we were just wondering uh, what was going to go on with Occupy Detroit our council was supposed to set a vote up today and the brother was giving some information on that could you please share that with the camera um yes um we um originally went down there yesterday and um you went down to city county yeah and put in a request for a two-week extension on our 45 day permit. Um, city Council put it on the agenda. It was tabled until today. Um, last night, let me let me let me backtrack a little. Um, the commander, one of the commanders of the Detroit Police Department was at the meeting and he promised City Council and the citizens of Detroit that it wouldn't be no problem. No problem with us coming in here enforcing the law. They haven't had no problems with us. So they're good with it. Um, Councilwoman Joanne Watson, she came down last night. She stayed here from about 10.30 to maybe about two in the morning. You know, so she showed her support. We had a general, we had a, what you call a general assembly and a rally last night. And uh, she got up and spoke, said a few words, you know, and let us know that city council pretty much. Supports. Right. That's right. But they, you know, you gotta understand Certain, certain that, politics that, are that, at play. That, that, this is what we're fighting, that corporate part. That's right. They got to go with that. That's right. Because that's their job. That's right. They have to answer to somebody. That's right. So we understand that. That's right. And we understand we we happy with the week we came out with. Amen. And then on top of that, they put it on the agenda we can come back the week after next. Amen. You know, y'all can come back if you want to and put in a permit again. But they got to work around things just like any part of, of a corporation do. That's right. That's right. But I, you know, I can't. I don't want to get off into that. You know, corporations think they're one person, but they're not. Right. Well, when when we can we can get off into that because we right. know that that's really the that's, heart and soul of the movement. That's the basis of it. Right. This really. is this is the first time that the people are taking such a unified stand against the powers that be and all of this Babylon right. mess but that we you, live in. But when you talk about you know, I'm 46 years old, man. When you talk about unified now. We're talking about 2,000, last I checked, 2,210 cities wow. around the world. Wow. That's doing the same thing. They occupy, man. They, I mean, they standing up. 
So if all these people in all these different cities are standing up. Something is about to change. But they standing up against something. And that's that 1%, man. Amen. That's that 1% that owns and runs 40% of this world's finance. That 99%, we only got 40%. We got another 40 and then another 20% trickles down. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's real deep, man. Well, it's brother, real deep. Well, brother, we really want to thank you for uh, giving us some time here on the camera. We also thank you for being a part of a very important worldwide global yes, movement yes, of good versus evil. And it because does. I know what it really is about, brother. <laughs> sure. I know you do. Thank you so much for All your right. time. And thank you also for being security out here because we know that that was a very important thing that no one can say that in Detroit, you know, we, we didn't know how to conduct ourselves yeah, when it was time to come happen. together in the revolution. We made it happen. All right now. All right, brother.